Hello there, Steve here in Sydney of the Lane Gnosis website, truebluehealer.com, where in just 20 minutes you can get takeaway physical evidence of your Divine Spark activation. And that will be followed by vivid messaging dreams, uh, later on, uh, much later on, an internal mentoring voice. But in general, it's a wonderful, it's, you'd have to call it an awakening to, as to what you really are. And it's a wonderful sleigh ride through a magic forest. What I wish to bring your attention to is I, I'm making this specifically for people with with dementia in their family somewhere. It devastates the whole family, starting with the carer and everybody else. And um, there's a, a new therapy for dementia reversal using ultrasound coming out anytime soon, maybe in the next year or two. There's already um, productive human trials going on and people report uh, an improvement in mental clarity after only one session. Um, I've got an animation I will uh, connect to the end of this video so you can just stay tuned to this. I'll tell you what it's about. The ultrasound is used to um, open the blood-brain barrier uh, to allow uh, medicines into the brain. The blood-brain barrier exists. It's a molecular physical filter a very fine mesh so that only small molecules can get in. Uh, the bare necessities of life basically, such as glucose, ketones, uh, some immune system cells, etc. But um, some people's immune cells can't get through the blood, the blood brain barrier and that allows amyloid plaques and tau proteins to accumulate uh, in brain tissue, uh, slowing down the uh, the cognitive process causing cognitive decline. Uh, it's already been discovered just by um, opening up the blood brain barrier with ultrasonic physical vibration, that's mechanical vibration, that um, the, uh, the blood brain barrier opens uh, a little bit more and allows larger molecules through, such as the necessary human immune cells to get in. Uh, and that's, that's already uh, providing uh, improvements in dementia. It's already been done in mice and sheep, I believe. It's just been published in a journal. I'll put the name of it there if you want to read it. But more exciting are the human trials and the uh, little uh, graphic I'll give you at the end of this video. And a, an example of how the human blood-brain barrier is a blessing and a curse is that it keeps poisons, toxins, large molecule substances out of your brain, uh, but it also stops your immune system getting in there to clean out rubbish, uh, basically, to put it sort of crudely. And a good example of the difference when you uh, uh, don't have to uh, fight the blood-brain barrier, uh, that do you remember many years ago when you had a runny nose in springtime, you might go to the chemist and get antihistamines, and the problem was they put you to sleep. That's because they cross the blood-brain barrier because the molecule is small enough. So the warning on the box says, uh, don't operate machinery, uh, don't drive a motor car while you're taking these antihistamines. So you've got to drink coffee to drive or something like that. Then uh, about 25 years ago, um, new antihistamines were brought out. These are called Telfast in Sydney. They're pink tablets and they're in sale all over the world. Um, different names, of course, and here they're called, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Telfast, there it is, that's Telfast here in Sydney, right? They're a big molecule, they don't go through the blood-brain barrier, so they don't put you to sleep. So, uh, all they had to do was engineer a slightly uh, larger molecule, and the blood-brain barrier uh, solved the problem of us falling asleep at the wheel, on antihistamines in springtime, okay? Part of the therapy involves basically turning your blood into fizzy lemonade. They have to put micro bubbles into your blood uh, as, as part of the process of activating the transfer of um, immune system cells into uh, the brain circulation through the blood-brain barrier which is opened kind of like a, a mesh opening wider to let larger molecules in. So your immune system ultimately triumphs over these evil plaques and things that clog up your brain tissue, causing cognitive decline. 
It's already in human trials, and the good news will be that it should be available in a relatively short time. It won't be a 10-year um, um, process involving millions of people because it's not a poisonous drug. It's, um, it's only a therapy. Um, so it doesn't have to have it, um, lots and lots of trials looking for obscure side effects and that sort of thing and cost billions of dollars to bring to the market, which is one of the reasons for the high cost of medicines. So this is only a therapy and it's already working on humans. It's been tested on sheep and mice and um, they wouldn't have gone to humans if it hadn't worked in sheep and mice first. They have ethics control committees to make sure um, they don't go too quickly to humans. But so far there's televised reports that people feel better after just one session. So meanwhile, if you've got a loved one with dementia or you think you may have it yourself, stick with coconut oil, but keep your eyes peeled. Coconut oil helps. It's a big, a big help for people with dementia. Uh, I made a video about that. It's got half a million views and there's a lot of people reporting that their grandma's feeling better. All right, so uh, you can go there, look at the comments and uh, it's a five dollar a week experiment to try on someone you've been losing for years. So it's well worth trying with coconut oil until this ultrasound therapy becomes available uh, at, a, at a medical center near you. Uh, it should be cheap, it shouldn't be too far off in terms of time. And uh, I commend it to you. It's coming from the University of Queensland's Brain Institute. Um, and uh, I've got an animation here for you which explains it. It's a very nice glossy animation put out by the uh, put out by the University of Queensland. And my only objection to it is it doesn't have enough views on YouTube, right? So if you can like and share this, you'll be doing your friends a favor publicizing this, okay? Well, so here's the animation now. Pay attention and like and share this with your friends. Anyone who's got dementia, you, might, you need to know about this, okay? Here's the animation. In the brain of a person with Alzheimer's disease, you'll see clusters of toxic amyloid beta plaques building up between nerve cells or neurons. And inside neurons, tau proteins clump together, causing cell death. Ideally, we can use drugs to remove this toxic buildup, in turn reversing the cognitive damage. But this drug delivery is hampered by the blood-brain barrier which acts as a strong shield, stopping drugs from penetrating to where they're needed. The work in Professor Gotz's lab involves using ultrasound to deliver a treatment through the blood-brain barrier and has been shown to work in mice. This is how it could work in humans. First, the patient is injected with microbubbles. The combination of these microbubbles and ultrasound exerts mechanical forces on blood vessels and temporarily opens the blood-brain barrier. This then allows drugs and antibodies to reach amyloid plaques and tau tangles and ultimately clear them. What's more, the research at the Queensland Brain Institute has shown that ultrasound alone clears the plaque and tangles before drugs are even administered. 
This work has enormous potential for reversing one of the most pressing health issues in a rapidly ageing society. In this new study we have shown that we can remove this toxic tau buildup using two methods. We used ultrasound on its own and we used an antibody against tau. And importantly we also showed that a combinatorial treatment by combining ultrasound and the antibody had even better effects. So in principle we believe ultrasound can be used to facilitate the uptake of a therapeutic agent in patients suffering from Alzheimer's disease or any other form of dementia. What's significant about this finding is that the combination of ultrasound and antibody delivery significantly increases the amount of antibody delivered across the blood-brain barrier and into the brain. So this would not only reduce the amount of therapeutic delivered to the brain for treatment of patients, but would also reduce the number of doses and the overall cost of treatment. It's usually very difficult to deliver drugs to the brain because the brain's protected by a barrier called the blood-brain barrier. And this usually protects the brain from infections such as viruses and bacteria, but it also prevents the movement of drugs into the brain. We believe that uh, ultrasound, either on its own or in combination with a therapeutic agent such as an antibody, has the potential to be used for prevention of dementia, but also when these proteins have started to build up, we believe that ultrasound can be used to remove toxic tau or toxic amyloid and thereby prevent neurodegeneration and in the end prevent also Alzheimer's disease from developing.